The first private space station will replace the ISS in 2026. For almost 25 years, the International Space Station has been humanity as home in orbit, a symbol of science and international cooperation, but its time is running out. NASA plans to retire the ISS around 2030, and the next generation of space stations will be commercial. Leading the charge is a California-based company called VAST. They've teamed up with SpaceX to launch the first private space station, Haven 1, in May 2026. Haven 1 is small, about the size of a city bus, but it was designed for four astronauts, hosting four two-week missions over three years. Inside, there's a 1.2-meter window, sleeping areas, a fold-out table, and high-speed Starlink internet. It's not a luxury hotel, says VAST CEO Max Hayot, but comfort helps astronauts live, work, and think better. The station will serve as a lab for microgravity research, from biomedical studies to semiconductor manufacturing. It ES open to private clients and space agencies worldwide, even smaller nations that never had access to orbit before. Built with a diameter of 4.4 meters and a habitable volume of 45 cubic meters, it's roughly one-eighth the size of the ISS, and it will dock directly with SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, which will ferry astronauts between Earth and orbit. VAST's team has grown from 200 to nearly 1,000 engineers, preparing not just Haven 1, but also the larger Haven 2, which could eventually replace the ISS entirely. If all goes as planned, Haven 1 will launch aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 in 2026, marking the dawn of the commercial space era, where NASA rents lab time and private companies own the stations. The ISS was built by nations. Its successor will be built by entrepreneurs.